Hi guys, I'm going to wait a little bit again. Um, again, I'm late, but you know what? Get used to it because this stuff, um, you just you basically have to wait until it decides it wants to come out. It wants, hi, how are you? Um, it kind of determines how long you're going to leave it in there because it, it's not that it's temperamental. It's just simply that it is going to come out when it's dry, and that's what you want. Um, and you don't want it to get over dry, so you just keep looking at it and kind of lifting it. Um, you know what, uh, Transylvania Bites, if you look at the other periscope that I have. Um, hi, Michelle. Um, on the other periscope, it, it explains exactly how to make it because I don't want to have to go over all that again, too. Um, and trust me, Tasty Bites, you're going to love this stuff. Trust me, it is so cool. So we're going to wait just a, a, a couple, maybe um, 45 seconds to 48 seconds. Hey, Michelle. Michelle, would you like to um, get a really good deal on a van? Um, it's not like working great, but it will be, but in case you want to buy it, you can buy it. <laughs> so, everybody say hi, and we will wait just a little bit. Donna, you don't want to buy my van either, huh? Fine, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I am hilarious. That's who I am. You know, I, I kind of do that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so, um, let's see. Oh, can you see my outside here? Isn't that funny? Um, double tap to, this would be me, look at me, don't I look gorgeous, my god, <laughs> yeah, oh, you said pretty to me, or did you, were you saying pretty to the backyard, <laughs> yeah, hottie, um, anyways, I, I, all I did was just, um, thank you, all I did was, like, wet my hair today, and just kind of let it go, um, because I really don't care, <laughs> Robin knows that, I just kind of go with the flow, so, um, especially when you're polka dotted, you just kind of do the things that, you know, like other people don't do. See, I'm polka dotted. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I'm special. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to remove this stuff. Look at that. Isn't that funny? Look at my backyard. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Hubby is polka dotted too. Whoa, son of a gun. I love polka dots. I think we're so cute. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, thank you. Ah, we love our deck too. Okay, um, what I want to show you is, in case you start, when I start removing it, um, the way that I, I take it out, if you see that it gets a little cracked, because it might have got a little bit over dry, there's another magic trick um, that's going to cost you guys big time. Okay, ready? A slightly damp paper towel. You take it. Now, I can't squeeze any water out of this because it's not, it's damp. What I do is I take paper towels and I wet them and I wring them out and I shake them and then I lay them over something like my table or my chairs or something until they, they're not dry, but you're not going to get wet if you touch them, okay? And this is all that I do is kind of tap it on there. That's it, okay? Now you wait. Because that little bit of water, it, you know, it's like a mist. I call it a mist. It's a mystery water. Huh? Anyways, um, you just kind of give it a second or two and it'll dry up. Okay, isn't that mold pretty? I couldn't wait to do this mold. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. Now, here's the secret. All you're going to do is at the very, very beginning. See this? You're just going to make sure that this comes up, but you're not going to remove it while it's up. See that? I'm just making sure that all I do is I just kind of wiggle it a little bit, okay? Then I get something that I don't have right here. Hold on. Don't go anywhere, guys. Okay, I don't know who got this, and I'll give credit to whoever it was that included this in with um, maybe cookie cutters or something that I got. I can't remember, but I really, really like this thing. Okay, you ready? Oh, okay, this is 
for another rocket scientist. So it's upside down. We know that it's loose. What we're going to do is we're going to take our little fingers. Can you see me? Okay. And I'm going to very, 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 very gently, gently pretend like you could win a quadrillion billion dollars. Um, and you would, but you have to be gentle. Okay? That's what this is like. So I have it out that much. See it? Okay? Now I'm going to take this handy dandy little tool and I'm going to lay it flat and I'm going to very, very slowly take this out. Um, if you don't have patience to do this, I would strongly recommend that you don't waste your time or your little bit of five cents that it's going to cost you to make this. Um, I would suggest you don't make it. Because what you're going to do is you're going to tell people that this didn't work, that it broke, and you couldn't get it out, and that girl doesn't know what she's talking about, and yada, yada, yada. And part of that might be true, but you have to have patience to do this. So I'm slowly pulling it across. And, you know, a, another stupid thing that I did here is I did all four rows, which was not the smartest thing I could have done. But I was showing off to you guys, and so now it's coming back to bite my patoozie here. Um, and that's all I'm going to say because I, I wanted to show off and show you guys that I could do four at once. And um, I'm not quite sure that was the smartest thing to do. Okay, and also this is a little bit different mold. Um, it's, it's intricate, but it's also, this is a real mold. I think it's a deco something, whatever. Um, got it down at the cake and wine store, um, which I didn't see any wine. Um, I was confused about that. Robin took me down there. And I didn't see any wine. So, um, are you guys still talking? Is anybody watching? Okay. Okay, so I'm slowly, slowly, slowly. I could take one out at a, at a time, and that might be easier. But you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just slowly pulling it out, keeping my fingers as close to the mat as I can to get this out of here. And it's coming, and it's almost out. Okay. Okay, now, I'm going to show you this before we move the others, okay? That's what this piece looks like, okay? And I can tie it in a bow, okay? I mean, I could do whatever I wanted to. You can make yourself such a pretty little, um, yeah, no wine, just cheese. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, I, yeah, I took the last one. You know what? Get over it. <laughs> but look, you can make a pretty little bow with this. Um, you can do it, and I can do it better, but I am busy right now yakking. But um, you can you can do so much with this lace. It is unbelievable. Um, and it's, to me, um, I think it's fine. If I was doing a competition cake and, and the sponsors of cake lace or, um, you know, uh, uh, that Sugar Veil stuff were like the judges... I would probably use their product um, because, you know, that's just the way to win is use their product. I shouldn't have said that. Ignore that. Erase that. Um, but, you know, it's like satin ice. I've been to classes for satin ice people that, you know, that, my gosh, they think the sun sets and rises on satin ice. And then, you know, somebody else does one for Wilton fondant, and it's the same thing. So I just kind of pulled that one out faster than I should have. But you get the gist of it, and I'll keep removing the rest of it. But can you see this stuff? Da -da 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 -da. See? Look. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Ha! Huh. Yeah. The recipe is in the other periscope. If you follow me and you like me and I become your um, a, a nice friend that you have, then you can get it. It's on the Periscope channel, the same one. So when you do whatever you do to get out of here, look at this. Isn't that cool? Okay, wait a minute. Don't go anywhere.
let's say that perhaps you screwed up a cookie. Okay? Look. See that? Look at that cookie. Isn't that disgusting? Because I tried to get them to dry faster than they were intended to do. And I said, oh, what am I going to do? Because I can't pipe those pretty lines and all of that. And uh, I could probably take a piece of this stuff and I could probably put it on here and make it look really pretty. Look. Look at that. Okay. So you can do whatever you want to do with this. It cuts. Um, you know, it bends. It does what you want it to do. And the best part about it is, is it's what, everybody? Cheap. It's not that expensive. Now it's, see, now I can get this out of here easier because I, I stopped being impatient and I actually let it sit. Um, you don't want to try to remove it as soon as you get it out of the oven. It was in the oven for probably, I'm going to guess about 40 minutes. Um, and I think it's probably because this is a different kind of mold than the pink molds um, that I got. So that's this stuff. And then, again, don't go anywhere. Okay. We'll see if this one's ready. But this is like the other one that I did. Um, you know what? I don't know what it's like in my mouth. Let me try a piece. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Let me see. It has no flavor. Um... It kind of tastes like um, like an unflavored um, gummy bear. I don't know. It's not. It it dissolved. I could put it in my mouth. See? Look. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not dead. I'm still alive. So it's nothing in there that's going to kill you. Um, I you know. It's kind of like the texture of gum paste or fondant, but. You know, um, it's not horrible. Um, so this one here, um, I probably could use another um, coat on this, so I'm not even going to try to take this out because you will tell by, if I can hold it at an angle, maybe you can see it. This mold is pretty deep, so this is probably going to take um, another coat or maybe two, um, and then it can be removed. Okay, I ate it, and I'm still alive. I'm not dead. You know, um, I think this would be beautiful around a cake. Um, and, you know, I mean, you could probably do something on cupcakes. But, you know, I, I have to be honest with you. So many people say they don't like the taste of, of um, royal icing, uh, you know, um, they don't like this, they don't like that. Well, if you're going to do like maybe one or two cookies in a set that you want to make look spectacular, or you just want to make a really cool cookie and then post it on Facebook and tell everybody, look, I had an order for 5,000 of these, um, I would do that. I'm not saying anybody else does. Um, how long will it last? Well, I know it will last at least, um, let me guess, almost two weeks. And it's in plastic. I've got mine in plastic, but like I said, I left a piece out, and it was still fine. You know, I didn't, um, it was still flexible. Let's see, I want to show you these because Robin has the mat, and, um, and so I used her mat um, to make these because she has one section on her long mat. Um, you can make five of these at a time, and look, look at this, look at Oh, oh. you could do so many different things with this. You could, I mean, that looks like a piece of lace. Um, if you wanted to put it on um, a round cookie, you could. You can paint with this, too. You can paint on this. You can airbrush on this. Okay? So that's what it looks like. That's the whole ball game. Um, if you guys have any questions, make them quick because my kitchen's a mess because it has... Um, reheated meatloaf and potatoes inside there. Oh yeah, you can color this too. I, like I said, always add to the recipe the one quarter teaspoon of the AmeriColor Bright White. Um, I don't like Wilton's White because it has a tendency to separate and you think you're putting all the titanium oxide stuff in it when you squirt it out and you're not because it settles and it gets um, 
hard on the bottom, and you really have to bake it up. I mean, you have to break it. Oh, really? Yeah, I know. I've done that. Have you ever lift, listed your or lifted your um, uh, your mixer when you've added your powdered sugar, and then everything goes all over? Oh, how do you glue it to the cookies? Oh, where's okay? First of all, where's Kinzer? Okay, Kinzer had a party to go to, and um, I didn't know it, and he knew it, but he just figured I was going to get him out of it. Um, and so found out that he had to go to this party, so he had to leave earlier. And then um, um, he's coming back over here tomorrow night to spend the night. Um, so he's going to just periscope just to do it. Okay. Um, I. Oh, yeah, you forgot to cover it. I've done it, too. Okay. Um, I forget to put the cover on mine all the time, and then I turn it up, and psh, I got powdered sugar all over, and I've got a... a, a Two little doggies, and let me tell you something, they don't look cute in powdered sugar. Um, so how do you attach this? Um, I would, you could probably, I mean, I've done it with just clear piping gel. I thinned it down with just a little bit of water, and what I've done with it is I take the brush, and I just touch, very, very lightly touch all around here. Then I go in here. And then I come to the center. And then I put it on the cookie. Because it's not going to fly off unless you're walking through a tornado or a hurricane. It's going to stay on the cookie. Um, I've tried putting the lace on the um, on royal icing when it is uh, still wet. And I don't, I don't like to do that because I think it distorts the royal icing. You know, it's hard to get it to, to go on there smooth. Um, Julia Usher showed how to put edible images in rice paper, and I, I go with what she said um, on pretty much everything that I do as far as attaching anything. You know, light amount of water, just a light, because remember, water's going to, if you put too much water on this, it's going to dissolve. So if there's no other questions, are there any other questions? I thought, oh, Transylvania, oh my gosh, I like you. Oh, tell them how to store it. Um, make sure that you uh, put it in, a, I keep mine in glass or plastic, then you store it in your refrigerator, and um, you can either let it come to room temperature, or you can just stir it right out of the refrigerator. Even if you bring it to room temperature, stir it. It's not going to be liquid, it's going to be like a real thick pudding. Um, and then you just simply um, uh, you put it into your molds, which you will see all of that on the first video that I did, how to do it in the molds. Um, and then keep it in your refrigerator. Again, I don't know why, um, because to me there's nothing in there that's going to spoil. Look at all those hearts. You guys are like killing it here. Oh, wait till Kinzer watches this because he was upset because he wasn't going to be here. Pauline, tell them what? You wrap it in parchment. Um, you don't have to. Um, Robin, I wrapped yours in parchment when I left it there. Um, but you don't have to wrap it in, in parchment because I want to show you something. See these? They're just laying on top of each other. But I wrapped yours in parchment. Um, so, you know, that's it. I mean, I've got them on top of each other, and they're not sticking or anything like that. Uh, for those of you who didn't see the first video, go to it because I, I'm really much better and fabulous in that when I kill it. Okay? So, you know, look at this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. See? Look at that. And this was made like 10 days ago. Um, I did make two of them, but this one was like almost two weeks ago. And it's just been living in the plastic bag. Um, I think that... Uh, it's multiplying in here, and you will notice there is a difference between the thickness of these two because the molds that, the blue molds that I used here, they're a lot deeper. So, um, basically that's it. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. I've shared this with you guys, um, and I don't mind sharing at all because I love it. I love sh sharing things with people. Um, I don't like to sell them. That's one big thing. I don't like to sell ideas, um, but I am gonna um, like like do a another Periscope coming up real soon because October is Cure JM month, so I got some plans in the works. 
So anything else, guys, besides I'm really cute? Thank you for sharing. You are awesome. I know. <laughs> yeah, I think I am, too. <laughs> anything else? Any questions? Otherwise, um, I'm going to zap off of here, and then I'm going to be on here tomorrow uh, with Kinzer tomorrow night. So if you don't know Kinzer, you are going to know him, and he's a sweetie. Okay? Okay, everybody, I don't know who you are, Taste Bites, but I really like you. What does it taste like? Watch this video again in replay, and, and I explain to you because I tried it. You know, I'm still alive and talking, so it's not poison. So, but, um, yeah, re-watch the video. Okay, everybody. Yeah, I know. Kids are so cute. He didn't want to go. He wanted to stay here. Bye, guys. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. You're welcome.